Hello, on this video I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft SQL Express and also to create a database that I'm going to use later to connect to from our MVC program. So first I'm going to search for Microsoft SQL Express and then I'm going to download this And then I'm going to click it and install. I'm going to click on basic and accept, install. And now I'm going to click on install SSMS. I'm going to download the SSMS then I'm going to click on it to install all right now I'm going to click on restart and after the computer reboots I'm going to click right here on the start and I'm going to type SSMS. I'm going to click on this program. And I like to pin the SSMS, so I'm going to right click and then pin to taskbar. And now I'm going to log in to the database. Make sure you have Windows authentication right here on this drop down menu for now. Connect. So next, I'm going to create a database. So right click in this folder, new database. I'm going to name this database fruits underscore DB. Click OK. Now I'm going to go over security and under logins, I'm going to right click and then new login. The name is going to be fruit user. Now I'm going to click on SQL authentication and then put a password. I'm going to type ABC123 as a password and then I am not going to enforce any password policy. Notice that this is not very safe. I'm doing this just for simplicity and for learning purpose. And then go to user mapping I'm going to check on FruitsDB and then click on Data Reader and Data Writer. Click OK. Now you have a um, database and also a login. Now on the Fruits database, I'm going to expand and then I'm going to right click on Tables and New Table. So here I'm going to create a very simple table. The name of a column is going to be name and the data type I'm going to use varchar. Then a description. I'm going to use a varchar again and then the last one is going to be color. And I am going to use a varchar again. And I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to name this table the fruits table. Click OK. Now the last step is for us to test if the user that we just created can actually log into this database and then do some query. So I'm going to disconnect. Click right here and disconnect. And then I'm going to connect to the database again. But this time, instead of clicking on Windows Authentication, I'm going to choose the SQL Server Authentication. Then I'm going to type the login that I created previously, fruits underscore user. And the password was ABC123. Connect. 
and I have a logging fail. Now the reason that I have this logging fail might not be because um, the credentials are wrong. It might be because we're not allowing the SQL Server authentication. So I'm going to click on Windows Authentication again and then Connect. I'm going to right click here and again go to Properties. Then under Security, I want to make sure the SQL Server and Windows Authentication mode is clicked. Click OK. Yes, I do need to restart the server. So to restart the server, I'm going to right click and then restart. Now I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to just connect and I'm going to connect again back to SQL Server Authentication, then Fruit User and then the password is ABC123. Click on connect and I can connect this time. Now I just want to make sure that I can read and write to this database. So I'm going to expand the tables. Then I'm going to right click on fruit and script table as insert to new query editor. And now I can run a query to insert something into this database. Next, I'm going to run this query. One row affected, good. Now I'm going to run a select statement. And that tells me that it actually inserts. So as far as database is concerned, I am good to go. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect to this database and do a query from our program. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.